relative from a national perspective um, and in the context of national political debate and dialogue, Nancy Pelosi has consistently been a liberal leader who has carried for San Francisco's agenda. She has been here for same-sex marriage. She has been at the forefront of No on Eight. Um, she has uh, been a power for Northern California, the state of California. And if you are a relatively small American city and you have somebody as powerful as Nancy Pelosi, you have one choice and that choice is to make sure that Nancy Pelosi continues to be the Speaker of the House of Representatives of the United States Congress. I mean, I, I think it's a very simple choice, which is, are we going to you know, give all of this up for somebody who doesn't even come from here, who doesn't have any ideas of the dynamics of San Francisco? Um, I respect Cindy Sheehan for what she has done for the peace movement, and it has been profound, um, and she's played a remarkable role in American politics, uh, but not to the detriment of the power that Northern California and the liberals have in the United States Congress. And I, I wouldn't, I don't think we should trade that. You don't take issue with uh, uh, Pelosi's record on supporting war funding? I, I take issue with my colleagues. I take issues with my own folks, right? But when you look at this from a 30,000 foot level relative to what Nancy Pelosi does for this town, for Northern California and for the United States, I think it's a pretty simple choice. I mean, Cindy Sheehan couldn't tell you where the Academy of Sciences is. She couldn't tell you about growing up in Golden Gate Park. Um, you know, representative democracy is about having people who represent the people that they, you know, represent. And that's clearly not the case uh, with Ms. Sheehan. I, she has done a remarkable thing for America, for the world, relative to peace, relative to an unjust war that we have had in Iraq, uh, relative to the injustice we've visited on Afghanistan. But no, no, no. I mean, does she deserve to be? Uh, I mean, well, I, I'll just tell you, uh, she's the Ed Jew of San Francisco politics. I mean, she doesn't represent this district. I mean, uh, you raise a good point. Uh, I mean, is Nancy Pelosi truly representative of San Francisco values in terms of uh, voting record and that kind of thing? I mean, listen, um, we have a representative who has become one of the most powerful people in the United States of America, and on balance, on balance, and we disagree about a lot of things, but on balance, she represents the most fundamental values of San Francisco. You don't think it's time for a change uh, to the establishment, uh, to put in new blood with new ideas, fresh ideas that are more responsive to the needs of the people as opposed to the establishment, corporations, that sort of thing? Luke, John, what we need is a new president of the United States. I am in the people's house. Here we call it the Board of Supervisors. It's like the Congress. It is a much less powerful house. The power flows out of the chief executive branch. We need a new president. His name should be Barack Obama. Okay? Nancy Pelosi is working to get Barack Obama elected. That We should all say on that page. We should not say on the divisive page of having a fight here in San Francisco relative to some woman from Crawford, Texas, right? So you're basically saying that with a new president, uh, with Nancy Pelosi's leadership, that we will, for example, uh, achieve single-payer health care, which Barack Obama doesn't support. I, I want to have a Democratic president, Democrats controlling the, white, uh, the, the Senate and the Congress, and then let's stand up and say that they're selling us short. But right now, for the last eight years, we've had a Republican administration. For some of those years, we've had a Republican administration on the congressional side and, and, and on the executive side. And I said the same thing for San Francisco, which is right now, Gavin Newsom is making a play to have no checks and balances, right? What makes America great is the checks and balances in government. Having the tripartite tripartite system where you have an executive, legislative, and judicial branch that keep each other in check. 
Right now, on the local level, that's exactly what we're trying to do, is have the executive and legislative branch be controlled by one party, right? And what makes America great is the checks and balances. Thank you, Aaron. Mm -hmm.